A Ramadan Story Once upon a time, there were three cousins named Iman, Ahmed and Omar. They were excited because Ramadan, the special month of fasting, was about to begin. When the crescent moon lit up the sky on the first night of Ramadan, the cousins and their families gathered for a yummy ifar meal. Ifar is a special dinner you have after sunset to break your fast. Iman's mom made delicious kunafa, Ahmed's dad cooked up a tasty makbus, and Omar's sister whipped up the most scrumptious samosas. In the morning, everyone came together for suhor. Suhor is a breakfast meal Muslims have before a day of fasting. During suhor, Iman's mom shared important lessons about fasting. They learned that Ramadan isn't just about not eating or drinking, but also about being kind, patient, and understanding. Inspired by Iman's mom's wisdom, the three cousins decided to make a special Ramadan calendar. Every day, they would do something good and mark it on their special calendar. It could be helping a friend, sharing toys, or making cards for their neighbors. One day, they visited their elderly neighbor, Miss Asmia. They offered to help with chores and shared their homemade treats. Miss Asmia lived alone, was touched by their kindness, and blessed them for being so thoughtful. As Ramadan continued, the cousins ticked off their kindness task on the calendar and enjoyed the special atmosphere of the holy month. Evenings were filled with laughter, prayers, and the delicious smell of food for Ifa. Mornings were all about doing kind deeds and helping out at home. On the 15th day of Ramadan, Iman, Ahmed and Omar set up a small charity cart on their street corner. They asked neighbours and friends to donate toys, clothes and food for those in need. The whole community happily joined in and together they made a big difference in the lives of others. As the moon went through its many phases and the last 10 days of Ramadan arrived, the cousins realized how much they had grown during Ramadan. Iman, Ahmed and Omar felt proud and happy and expressed their gratitude through their prayers at the local mosque during the night on which God first revealed the Quran to Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. They prayed for their community their families and for those in need and also gave thanks for the beautiful Ramadan they had observed together. On the final day of Ramadan, the cousins gathered for a final festive Ifa meal. They shared stories, talked about lessons learned and the joy they experienced throughout the month before heading to the mosque for evening prayers. Iman surprised Ahmed and Omar with special cards she had been preparing for them. To her surprise, Ahmad and Omar had the same idea. All three of them exchanged their surprise cards and read the special notes written inside. As Ramadan came to an end, the friends eagerly waited for the celebration of Eid. Eid is the special celebration marking the end of the holy month of Ramadan. As the sun set on Eid, Iman, Ahmed and Omar joined in on the celebrations in the town square. They were grateful that Ramadan had taught them so many important lessons and looked forward to carrying the spirit of Ramadan throughout the rest of the year.